Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a gaff countdown. Hey, that's right, we're gonna count down my favorite gaff decks. Now, this was done uh, because a reader had asked if I would rank my gaff decks. And obviously, I can only rank the gaff decks I own. There are other gaff decks out there. Knock, uh, Black Knox, uh, they have a gaff deck. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet. So there's some other ones out there. Um, these are just the seven that I have. And so I'm just ranking them number one to seven. Uh, and uh, that's all I can do, right? <laughs> so um, I'll give you a couple of um, parameters that I use because people might ask, well, why did you do this? Why did you do that? I'll tell you a little bit. Parameters, okay? Uh, gaff decks for me, gaff cards especially, uh, really fall into two categories. There's invisible gaffs and there's visible gaffs, okay? Invisible gaffs are a card that helps you do a trick, but the spectator never sees the card. It becomes a utility, like a double backer. Your spectator should never see or know that you had a double backer in play, okay? That would be an invisible gaff card, and those, I think, are the best. All right. Then there are visible gaff cards. Cards that have a printed um, picture on them that's not familiar to your spectator, like, hey, look, it's got a printed quarter on it or a printed uh, different pip or the king is smiling in a different way. When you hand those out or you show those to a spectator, they obviously know that that card's been printed, okay? So on the one hand, they're both cool and they're interesting and they kind of present this like, ooh, shock value, but I prefer invisible gas, and so that's kind of how I'm ranking this today. All right, let's count down seven to number one. Number seven, the gas system from Illusionist. Now, this was a project that was put together from Daniel Madison, Kalen Morelli, Eric Jones, and Adam Wilbur. Now, if you get the gaff system, you're obviously going to get the deck and you're going to get the DVDs as well. Uh, on the DVD set, there are 15 effects taught by all these different various artists, okay? So 15 effects. Now, let's just run through the positives and the negatives. Positives are they're very great effects. They're very fun, eye candy, visual, they pop. They're very modern, and of course, you know, think about Daniel Madison, Caleb Morelli, Eric Jones, Adam Wilbur. They're all very current, very modern uh, guys that are out there in the industry right now, okay? Negatives. Negatives are, there's only 15 and only 15. So this isn't a gaff deck that you can do like multiple tricks with, but they only teach you 15. It's really just these 15, that's it. And you have to use either the green or blue artifice decks in conjunction with this. And a lot of these tricks are consumable, meaning you'll have to destroy these cards, and once you're done destroying them, you'll have to buy the gaff system all over again. All right? Number six, the gaff effect deck from First Magic Studio. Hey, this deck is currently sold out, and you're gonna see that a lot with some of these gaff decks. There's like one run, and then they sell out. So that's kind of bad. Um, this deck boasts that you could do about 50 tricks or more, which is great. You know, that's really cool. And uh, I bought mine from Penguin, but you were able, when they were first out, to buy them from a lot of different places. Um, positives from this, positives are, it's got lots of marketed effects. So effects that you would normally have to buy individually come pre-packaged in this deck. Negatives to this, we don't actually know that First Magic Studio got permission to do this, because you know usually when you market somebody else's trick, you should ask them, so that would be nice. And a lot of these cards kind of felt like an ultra gaff knockoff. Number five, the Madison Gamblers from Daniel Madison and Illusionist.com. Uh, this was a really cool set. Also came out with a DVD that uh, taught you uh, how to do these tricks. So there's 14 effects, 14 that are taught on the DVD. And I would argue that there's some extra cards like double backers and double facers. So obviously you can do more tricks than just these 14. Um, positives are, positives are, uh, the deck comes available in both the black rounders and the green dealers. So you have your choice, you can do one or the other. But you know that can also be a negative because you can't do these tricks with any other deck. Um, plus the second disc that comes with this is all gaff theory. And teaching and theory is so important. And you got great guys in here like Peter McKinnon, Adam Wilbur, Mark Calabrese, and Alex Pandrea. So, uh, and there's some really cool effects on here as well. Uh, you know, it's Daniel Madison's style, it's his magic. Negatives are, like I said earlier, you can only use these two decks, okay? This, this deck isn't transferable to other decks. You have to use Black Rounders or Green Dealers. 
and my other negative, and this is just me, these effects were hard. <laughs> these are not easy tricks. They were Daniel Madison style, Daniel Madison skill level, so yeah. Number four, the Illusionist Gaff deck from illusionist.com. Now, when this deck came out, uh, originally, it also had a companion video called Army of 52 that was done by Justin Miller. Uh, since then, it's kind of become known as the Ghost Gaff deck uh, in a later printing. So they stopped doing Bicycle back when Bicycle said you can no longer print Gaff cards using our back design. They've since changed uh, their theory on that, but back then. So then Illusionist had to make the Gaff uh, deck become a ghost deck so that they could actually keep printing them. Uh, you can still download the Army of 52 video from illusionist.com. Justin Miller's the teacher. You get 18 effects that are taught on it. Positives are, positives are, it's just as good as Ultra Gaff. And I know I didn't rank Ultra Gaff yet, but I want to tell you why I ranked it lower. Uh, there's less effects taught on it, but it's still a good system, just as good as Ultra Gaff. All right, so what are the negatives to this? Negatives to the Illusionist Gaff deck are kind of like other videos um, that are released with these decks, and you'll see this from time to time. They give you a lot of cards with no explanation. They say, oh, look at all these cards you get. But then when you get the video, you get 18 tricks. And you're like, well, what about the trick for this? What about the trick for this? And they're like, sorry. So you kind of have to come up with your own routines for some of these other cards, and they're kind of almost like, why was this printed? So yeah. Number three, Ultra Gaff from Wayne Houchen, Daniel Garcia, and Illusionist.com. Uh, I think when people think of Gaff decks, they think of Ultra Gaff. That is like the granddaddy. It's like it's one of the first of these kind of modern custom Gaff decks to be released by a large house. Um, it is sold out, so it is you know difficult to find. You do get 20 routines, so huge amount of routines, two DVDs. Um, both Daniel Garcia and Wayne Houchen are really funny, and the DVDs are just fun to watch uh, in and of themselves. Um, back then, it was the best of its day, and since it has been printed, a lot of people have come up underneath them and been imitators of them. So it's a great combination deck that has both hidden uh, gaffs and visible gaffs. So it's a great combination of both. Positives for Ultra Gaff, I mean, like I said, it was the innovator. It was the one that started it all, so lots of creativity was put into this. Negatives, again, several cards that you receive have absolutely no explanation. Number two, Weapons from Eric Ross. Um, weapons from Eric Ross came out recently and it's still available. That's a really good thing about this gaff deck. If you wanna get a gaff deck, Weapons is still out there. You can still buy it. Uh, there's 10 effects, so not as many uh, as previous. But the great thing also about Weapons is if you have uh, Ultra Gaff or you have the Army of 52, you'll learn some effects on those videos that you can do with Weapons, okay? so. Some of the negatives around weapons was that it had some controversy when it first came out. We didn't know if uh, Eric Ross had permission from everyone before he released it. But the positives are, like I said, it's still available. It's got great marketed effects on there, especially like you get lit from Dan White, which is a great routine and it comes in that. Lots of invisible gaffes as well as visible gaffes and I love the double backers. There's some great, great double backers uh, for United States Playing Card Company in there. And number one, the standard gaff deck from United States Playing Card Company. Now, why did I put this one at the top? Well, it's a standard gaff deck. It's available at all of your favorite magic stores or magic retailers. I think it's still printed. Um, if not, there's the Tally Ho deck that's exactly the same. And I know you can still get that one. Um, so it's gonna give you all the cards you need, really. Uh, it's full of invisible cards. You get double backers, double facers, double blanks, and half blanks, half facers. Uh, and really, the amount of magic that you can do with this deck is unlimited because every trick that does a double backer or every trick that has a double facer, you can use this deck and it's going to seamlessly fit into all of your standard off-the-shelf bicycle cards. So literally, this one deck can do thousands, thousands of magic tricks. Um, positives are it's all invisible cards. Negatives are you will have to buy a magic book <laughs> to figure them all out, but there's no uh, real negative to buying magic books. All right, so that is my top seven gaff decks. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, please do. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you want more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.